Hey, we got some parts for the Dyna. So huge thanks to your boy Dallas up in Canada. He's kind enough to support my wheelie addiction and send me some parts. Let's uh, go put all this shit on. Some new parts on the bike got some uh, new brake pads so the rear brakes are feeling absolutely amazing now we also got some crash protection down there as you can see I just want to give a huge thanks to Dallas your boy up in Canada and oh there's some bikes up there I'm gonna go I'm gonna try to catch up with them excuse me hey what year is that 16 Nice. I like the white. You guys just riding around? You from around here? Right up the road. Yeah. Hey guys. Oh, big golfs, huh? All right. Well, see you later. Thank you. <laughs> that, was, that was awkward as hell. That was not who I thought it was. I thought I knew who they were, so I was gonna stop and say what's up. I rolled up and realized I don't I didn't know <laughs> either one of them. But I don't wanna like roll up and stare at them and then just turn around and take off. So I tried starting some sort of like awkward conversation and <laughs> Oh damn it. That was so weird. There's a lot of traffic for being a Sunday. Probably from uh, all this like holiday shopping and stuff. Especially the malls like right down there. Usually this place is like a ghost town on Sundays. Yeah, no, I don't really have any plans for today for this ride or anything. I'm just out by myself roaming around creeping up on people. It's just a beautiful day today. I couldn't pass it up in the beginning of December and uh, we still got it's like 70 degrees today, which is absolutely crazy because usually by this point it's it's dropping to freezing temperatures. Another thing you may or may not have noticed is I don't have my bar cam on at the moment. And that's because uh, in the last video, you'll know that it broke off again. And I completely forgot about it until today. And so then I was looking around and I don't have the little connector bit that I need to put it back on. So I'm either going to have to go buy another connector bit or find a different way to mount it or something. It's nice every now and then though getting to... Uh, just run a helmet cam and not worry about anything else around you. I don't know if you guys realize running that second bar cam is a, a hell of a lot more work when it comes to editing and uh, like file storage and syncing everything up and making sure the cuts are just right between the two so it don't look too awkward. It probably triples the time that it takes me to edit my videos just having that bar cam on there. I think it's worth it but it's nice every now and then not having to worry about it and that way I can just edit one video timeline and uh, it, it goes by so much quicker and so much smoother and then I don't have to worry about it taking so much space and then the rendering process doesn't take as long and I don't have to sync anything up it's just so much easier all the way around but I want to hear what you guys think about the second angle because I know there's people out there that just don't give a shit they don't care if you have a second angle or not. 
there's people that I know there's a couple people that just don't like the second angle they just think it's pointless but oh and another thing I'm thinking what the hell is this car doing <laughs> you can't do a three-point turn in the middle of two lanes what the hell I think I need to go this way I went too far down hey there bud I think my exhaust is getting close to falling off again too the welds on the uh, little middle mount of it broke off again so I just need to get a whole new exhaust to be honest, I think it was nice in the beginning, but just after the first time that it broke, we'd repair it and then it'd break again, then we'd repair it again and, re and break again, and it just, it's become such a zombie of an exhaust. Never done this before. Oh, getting it to slide, but Jesus. Oh, oh, I about lost that one. I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh, oh, see, like it, maybe more throttle. It starts to want to slide and then it'll hook. And then it'll slide again. It's fucking weird. Woo! I put a shit ton of air pressure in my tire. I'm at like 45 PSI in the rear right now with the Shinko. And the Shinko is super, super sticky. Oh! <laughs> God damn it. Oh, damn. It started sliding, but it went so sideways it touched the crash bar. And as soon as it touched the crash bar, it fucking threw it onto the other side. <sighs> you heavy bitch. Why you do this to me? <sighs> oh, sh oh, keep it up. <laughs> it wanted to fall. Oh, let me try a fucking... Take a breather. <laughs> when you've never done something and you're going into it just head first, I'm just winging it. And uh, I mean, so far I've got it to slide at least, you know, and that's something. I also need to get out here on a day when I'm more prepared. That's fucking scary. This road is so angled on both sides. Oh, somebody's calling me. Since we get a lot of flash floods, all of our roads and highways are built angled. Like they purposely don't level them out. They angle them so that when we get flash floods, it, the water runs off to the side, which makes sense. I understand it. Makes it really difficult to wheelie Oklahoma. So I saw this last time I was uh, over in this area. It looks kind of decent. I mean, these little lots, they're all angled and short, but like this little spot right here looks pretty good. <laughs> oh, until it starts curving. Oh shit, I know where I'm at. I probably don't need to be over here. Yeah, I don't even think I could talk about that on camera without giving personal shit away. I know exactly where I'm at. No, thank you. I wonder if I can get some downhill going. Yeah. Even with the slightest incline, going downhill on wheelies, especially on this thing, is just... 
I can't help but chase them. This crash bar definitely instills some confidence, I'm not gonna lie. Now that I have the crash bar, it's almost like the whole, you know, I'm not even worried about my bike anymore. On it, like obviously the crash bar isn't gonna save the entire bike. If I loop out and the bike lands on the top of it, it it's not gonna be good. But, I mean the crash bar is gonna help a hell of a lot more than, than no crash bar, you know? I was planning this weekend since I had the crash bar, I was gonna go out. And, and, and actually be prepared and practice and drifting and just wheelies and everything really I was just gonna go out and practice everything this weekend and then uh, I remembered that my I'm like due for an oil change and I think a, a primary change that sort of set me back because I don't want to beat up on it too much and, like tear something up because I don't exactly have the money to fix this shit if I blow it up I have money to fix little shit that I can break here and there but I don't have money to blow up the motor. <laughs> I'm gonna take it easy. I'm gonna change the oil and do all that throughout the week. And so hopefully by next weekend. Jack say, I think next weekend is the uh, Toys for Tots run, December 10th. Um, yeah, Sunday, December 10th is the uh, Toys for Tots run. Uh, meeting up at the Expo Center in Tulsa and heading. There's gonna be a big ass ride, but we're gonna be riding into uh, downtown Tulsa where the Marines will have a, uh, a big semi truck posted up in the middle of downtown. and. Everybody, they'll be taking toys and loading them up and everything. A little Christmas charity going on. Yeah, next weekend come out to that. We can go out, do some little Christmas charity, and then go out and do some hooligan shit afterwards. That'll be, uh... So if you want to go out and do some hooligan shit with me afterwards, come to the Tots Run. That sunset, nice. I'm actually pretty surprised. It, it literally just hit me that the, uh, <laughs> the wheelies I was doing back there was with 46 psi in the rear tire that's fucking awesome so yeah those people that always I, I get questions all the time of what psi i'm running and uh, i always tell people it depends on the tire but with the shinko 777 which is what i'm running now i always ran it at like 20 or 25 psi but holy shit it's it's a good like 68 degrees outside it's not the warmest day. I've got literally last night I put 46 psi in that rear tire, and that shit came up. It came up and held, and it was stable. It wasn't wasn't wandering all over the road or anything. So I guess there's your answer. If you get a Shinko Triple Seven, I guess it don't it don't matter what pressure you're running. It'll hook up. <laughs> well, I think that's gonna be it for today's video, guys. Thank you everybody so much for watching, and I will see you guys on the next one.